In this video, we'll go over the current status of the December update coming for us, guys. When that's going to happen, what's going to be in that update, as well as some Season 5 little tidbits of information as well. So stay tuned out the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Make sure you subscribe to keep yourself updated with everything going on with Halo. So as we do every Friday, we get a nice little tidbit of a development update going on with the MCC. Either stuff that's happened the past week or what's going to happen in the next coming weeks. In this short but sweet development update, we got a little information on the current status of the December update, how they're currently in a flighting process, as well as a little bit of season five and kind of gets a little excited for it as well so let's get right into it so to put into context what this december updates mean to accomplish it's not necessarily like new content or things like that for the mcc it's more just things that kind of just make the game run better just a bunch of small bugs and glitches that have been kind of plaguing the mcc for a while they, they want to kind of clean up a little bit and they mentioned in this blog post this, this list that they put out isn't the complete list that they're planning to work on but here are some of the things that they're looking to do the specular issue causing skins to appear darker in gameplay that's mainly for halo 3 scope and vehicle monitors not rendering stencil outline view screens in cinematics not displaying properly issues with higher gamma settings on series x and s input based match making icon display issue on the roster side of things and toggle crouch timing window issue on a limited frame rate i actually brought this up in a comparison photo kind of showcasing some halo 3 skins when they first were came when they first came in and the original skins that they updated for the high res versions of the skins are much darker than the original for whatever reason and apparently that's that's a lighting issue it's not just like the design of the skins which i initially thought they were i actually kind of like the darker look of them but again it's not true to the original version of them so it totally would make sense the only other kind of bug right that they mentioned right here again like they said this is not the complete list of things happening in december for the update but they do mention about the toggle crouch timing window when it comes to unlimited frame rate for halo 4 h2a and reach is that kind of like basically talking about spring jumping in a way? The spring jumping is a very frame specific move. You can't really pull it off if you're playing above 60. Or it could just be that, you know, when you're using toggle crouch, which I don't really know many people who do use it, but there are people out there, I'm sure. If you use toggle crouch, let me know in the comment section down below. I want to see how many of you rare individuals are out there. Uh, I guess maybe just like a toggling on and off. And maybe if you do it too soon or too slow, whatever kind of rhythm, to it that it doesn't register properly uh, i haven't really heard of this issue or come across it because well he is hold the crouch and i think most people do as well for halo but it's good to see that 343 is taking the time and effort to fix that kind of stuff for those kind of players uh though it doesn't really seem like they're kind of addressing all the issues again like i said uh one thing i'd really like to see is the lighting in halo 4 especially for that one cutscene. Uh, that lighting is just like really bad. Now the time frame that they're looking to release this December update they mentioned is the middle of the month of December. So if you kind of look at the calendar real quick, uh, middle of the month being the 15th, which actually lands on a Tuesday, which kind of ends up being the magical day that they like to update the MCC on. So would possibly expect a December 15th update coming around right here. And they are doing a ring one and two flighting process for this update. They are not going to do a ring three public flighting because I think they're kind of saving that effort for the custom game browser, which they actually don't mention in here right now. But we do know that the custom game browser flight should be happening this month. When exactly this flight will happen? Not totally sure. Maybe it'll happen maybe towards the end of the month so they can just have the flight kind of run throughout the holiday and gather the information afterwards. Or maybe it could drop, you know, same day of the you know, update itself. I mean, well, again, we'll keep you guys up to date on this channel if any new information comes out about the custom game browser flight. Interesting little thing here, they do mention about season five content and currently it's being flighted right now internally. And they mentioned that the ring one and two people are also getting an early look at some of the items we want to have in season five and providing early feedback on them. Needless to say, we think folks will be quite happy with what's coming down the pipe. Now, if you watched my leaked video talking about a lot of stuff, they did show off a lot of content in there that actually did not make it into season five for the MCC. We're talking about the Halo Reach armor sets that 
or cut content that they're looking to add in. I think they're looking to add in a little bit more of Halo 4 content as well as some Halo 3 content. And we did have uh, leaked images of a gold battle rifle as well as an Arctic camo for the Hornet as well. And which they showed in the game. Like this was definitely like in the flight for Halo 4, but this didn't make it into the season four for whatever reason. Maybe they're trying to spread out that content a little bit. So making people want to come back for the next season because I don't know, there's a gold battle rifle or something like that, you know, something that would make people want to come back and play the game. But until then, we'll just have to wait until we get some more information on the upcoming content for the MCC. So if you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel, guys. It actually does keep you up to date. I upload a lot of content on this channel, guys. So in case you missed any of it, here's a link to it, all the videos I've put together in the playlist. If you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.